Hello, hello. Today I have a special episode for you all today. So, man, I had a hard time um, uploading this picture to my MacBook Air for some reason. So, but yes, yeah, so I got it together. So today, today I wanted to talk about something more personal. I want to talk about my five. I want to talk about, because this morning I was thinking about this. I was thinking about the last bit of wisdom that pretty much my dad gave me before he died. And um, I haven't really spoke too much about my dad because it happened pretty much when I was about 13 years old when my dad died that summer back in 1999. And um, when I was about 13 years old, I pretty much, that's when I pretty much started my martial arts journey. So I actually wound up watching a Bruce Lee movie. I think it was a Fist of Fury, uh, one of them, it was a pretty much uh, one of my uncles when it had me to, uh, he pretty much showed me Bruce Lee. And I was about 13 years old. And this was also the same year that pretty much, uh, it pretty much, I want to say it was like the, the same, uh, the same summer when I started my martial arts training. So I'm 13 years old. So yeah, so, so pretty much uh, before my dad died, um, I started watching Bruce Lee movies and I was just so infatuated with martial arts and, kicking and punching so and then that's how parents can tell that a kid is real serious about it because i just watch watch the videos all day every day watch the movies all day every day so for the the next few years i was just so so impressed with the martial arts and how it was and and yes so i'm 13 years old and my dad is still alive and he sees that i you know i'm really really interested in learning the martial arts so what him and also my amazing mom went and did was they actually went and signed me up for some martial arts classes. It was a uh, pretty much a uh, taekwondo. It was a taekwondo place that was not too far from where we stayed. It was in Billwood, so not too far. So we went over there, and it was like, my mom, my dad. I'm in seventh grade uh, in this summer, and pretty much they pretty much signed me up to take taekwondo classes. So it was I think it was back then it was like Mondays and Wednesdays. So yeah, so pretty much, uh, so uh, my mom's and my and my dad signed me up for the martial arts classes for Mondays and Wednesdays, and yes, so I was excited about it. I was gonna finally start and practice my martial arts. But like, man, I'd be able to fight like Bruce Lee, and so yes, I was a young thirteen-year-old teenager, and I was excited about doing it. So, so pretty much, you know, so I'm talking about it. And I remember that it was like that Friday night when um I was watching one of Bruce Lee movies and then I remember pretty much, you know, uh my dad we was like talking, I think we was like pretty much sitting on the couch and it was pretty much in the living room. And he told me this, he said, Okay, so we signed you up for these martial arts lessons and you know, these and he said uh karate lessons, but he was saying that every last thing what he said he said, Well, don't be thinking that you can whoop anybody ass on the planet. So, you know, so just, uh, so that was pretty <laughs> <laughs> that was the last thing, you know, I, that was like the, the last bit of wisdom that he pretty much told me. And yeah, so he was saying, you know, just, okay, you learning this martial arts shit, man, but don't think that you can whoop everybody ass. <laughs> so I was thinking about that this morning. So, and then pretty much um, uh, my dad died that, uh, what's it, uh, that Sunday. So I remember that we had that talk. That I'll say like Friday night, Friday night or Saturday night, one of the two. I can't quite remember which one it was. So pretty much, uh, so yeah, so that was pretty much the last bit of wisdom that pretty much my dad gave me before he passed away that Sunday. And then pretty much from that Sunday, my dad passed away. And then here comes Monday. So Monday is the first day of my martial arts class. And pretty much, you know, my, my dad just passed the other day. But pretty much in my mom, she still went and took me to the martial arts class. And I remember before when I was in the class and I mean, I was thinking, oh, man, my dad died yesterday. And I remember that when I was pretty much practicing the martial arts, I was able to focus on it. I'm pretty much to focus on that for that hour. So I thought about like, wow, you know, so pretty much uh, so my mom, I want to definitely thank her for still taking me to the martial arts. She could have just, you know, she had one of the best excuses ever. She could have said, you know, his son, I mean, his 
dad died yesterday, so we're gonna just you know put off his martial arts training and and he he, he should be focusing on mourning his dad's death. But my mom's she still went and made sure that I attended the martial arts class, and so I had to give my mom a lot of respect. My mom said she did a she's a great woman, the best mom in the world, so she's always been there for me. So. Yeah, so pretty much so that was like the last bit of advice that my dad gave me. So he went and pretty much had us had me set up to do the martial arts. And I was doing that pretty much ever since I've been 13 years old. And later on, I started doing different styles of martial arts. So this is a picture of my dad uh, back when he was working at CTA. You know, so pretty much um, CTA is actually how he met my mom. So he was driving the bus. So, you know, so he did all of the routes on the west side, you know, he ain't fuck with that south side. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I think about how, like, back in the day, when I was uh, pretty much, uh, when I started working for CTA, all what they had offered was the south side, so I was working out of 103rd, so, you know, so I wasn't fortunate to have the west side, but, you know, but, you know, but I pretty much became a trainer, but, yeah, so, pretty much, uh, so that's pretty much the story of the last bit of advice that my dad gave me. So, so yeah, so, you know, he pretty much was just setting me up so I could pretty much do what I want to do, which was to learn the martial arts, and it gave me a certain amount of discipline, and, yeah, so that was back when I was 13 years old, and then later on, pretty much, uh, pretty much, uh, uh, I don't think, I don't, actually, I'm not sure who actually took me to the martial arts class. I'm thinking it was either my mom's, or I'm thinking maybe it was my Uncle Serge, but later on, my Uncle Serge started doing the martial arts with me too so you know so he pretty much at that time he was fixing up his place in maywood that he would work on his place you know in the morning and during the day and then later on he would take the martial arts classes uh with me so yeah so it was nice for me and my uncle we actually went and did the martial arts classes and and fighting in tournaments and then we'll practice together so yeah so it, it definitely was a special time Seemed like that was ages ago. So now I'm 38 years old. So yes, I wanted to tell you all more about myself because I haven't really, really, really talked about this that much with 20 people. So I wanted to go and have you all to know more about me. So yeah, so pretty much um, so I want to thank you all for watching and I want you all to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. and. I'll see you all next time.